people don't give Kamui's tape enough credit, but mm-hmm. it's the best. I agree. If, I, I just find you high five. I if, agree. If I was not in an interracial <laughs> relationship, it could just become his tape. <laughs> this money we're wasting in wedding, let's <laughs> buy some puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for yet again checking out a Sharon Mashira vlog. I've got yet another episode of Banter With and I'm joined by not a YouTuber this time, but he's equally as popular on YouTube. It's time for Octopizo! Yeah. <laughs> Octo, thanks yeah. for coming through. Thanks. You know, we've spent um, a few hours just chatting, hanging out, and honestly, this guy is so dope. And I'm not just saying that because he's on my channel, but... <laughs> he's he's so genuine and such a great spirit and I hope it comes out in this video. But yeah, let's take it from the top. Mm-hmm. Mr. Octopi Zo. Hey town, keep that up. Salami my my peoples. Hey Nyade Nyade the people. <laughs> T I double Z O Kibera number nine representing Tkop A V. Tkop A V. Relax too. You know what I, I wanna know? Like and I've I've been watching your interviews, listening to your story about Kibera. What's life like out of Kibera? Like, is it different? It's boring. It's boring. It's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> so boring. I don't have friends since I moved in any part. Plus, I've been moving a lot. Yeah. But I don't have friends this side because it's not the same. It's not the same. We don't, we don't like the same thing. Someone is complaining about champagne. <laughs> and I grew up where somebody's complaining about their slippers because they've like... <laughs> mended it like 10 times they need to buy a new one so i always feel out of space yeah so what do you miss the most about that that lifestyle our community right the community in kibera the love and is 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 something i've never seen anywhere it doesn't matter which tribe or whatever this tribe thing they always just bring it during like politics and, mm. and election but in there the community the love is is like so genuine do you still feel that way when you go back to when you go back to Kibera? Yeah. You still feel it. They don't look at you same. like, uh, sir, you're no, the guy no, no, who made no. it. Like I, I, per week, I have to go there twice. Do you take your daughter? Yeah, our grandma is still from there, so okay. our grandma still lives in Kibera, and we take her there, and she sees other kids, and also just getting close to our grandma to understand, because we are from different cultures. Our grandma is Embu, our mm. Luo, our mom is Kikuyu. She's she has like three cultures going on she's being raised a little bit why yeah <laughs> you know so she's like rainbow Let's she's a it. rainbow yeah so let's talk a little bit about fatherhood mm-hmm. how did that change you that changed <laughs> everything i think it made me soft to some level like the stuff that i'd like to say and sometimes i can't say because yeah. i don't know how my kid will view this me when did. i say it there's stuff I want to do that I can't do. And like what? Like, Give me an example. Like, you know, when somebody gets you mad and you just like, back then you just fight it and it's done. But now you have to like talk to people. <laughs> like, hey, bro, why are you talking to me like You this? have to be like, diplomatic. Yeah, you have to be like <laughs> diplomatic and ah, it sucks. <laughs> you should just like, hey, what's the problem? Let's get you. Boom, boom. Oh, we Shinda. Now we are friends. <laughs> and that's what I liked about Because when you fight, it's not that you fight to hate each other. Yeah, to, to be protect friends. yourself. Oh, to be friends? Yeah, so what now you, you have respect for each other. So if I had a problem with you and you beat me or I beat you, like, so we are good, we are good. Cool, let's, let's rock. <laughs> Do you think you're a good role model for her? For my daughter? Yeah. I think I'm like a superhero or something. Oh, bless. Yeah, that's... So she's my everything. Has she ever come home and told you, Dad, at Mazaya, I've been bullied at school? Yeah. What is that like? I I went out. <laughs> I just went out like they were You wanted playing. to roll up on some yeah, six-year-old. Yeah, they was like, hey, go call your mom and your dad. If you ever talk to my daughter like this again, you will know these houses, I'm just renting. I'm not from here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find the real me. And, uh, she was happy. Of but course. it sucks because I don't, me, I've never experienced that. We all, always heard about bullying, even I went to a day school, so I didn't go to a boarding school. So I don't know how it is, but also the way we are raised, you can't bully us. Yeah. But for her, and I've watched like a little bully movies on Netflix and it's not, it's not good. I've seen kids like killing themselves. So yeah, that's 13 reasons why. Yeah, so yeah. I'm so scared at the same time, but I just say if, if it get to an extent that I feel is crossing the line, yeah. then I'm pulling up. Okay, and mm-hmm. how big is your family? How many kids do you have? Uh, enough kids. Enough kids. 
I want to have eight. That you know of. I want to have eight. <laughs> you want to have eight kids because of, of Octo. Yeah. Plus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just nice having a big family. I never had family, family. growing up. Yeah. So. You, I thought you had four brothers. Yeah, but like we were separated at some point. Okay. Yeah, so I lived alone and they lived alone. And you were the eldest? Yeah. So you had to look out for everybody. So I didn't see them for seven years. Wow, so after seven, seven years, years. We, we met again. And it was different, you know, now. It was, I was like the dad. It's not the same brother, sister vibe. Yeah. But, yeah, I just, I love family. For me, I do everything for it. It's about family. The rest is just hype. Okay. Yeah. And I just want to take us back to talking about Kibera because you talk about it a lot. You know, you're super Chocolate proud of, yeah, of where times. you come from. And um, you mentioned something really special, and I just wanted you to touch on that. That mm -hmm. every time you'd be at a gig, especially when you were coming up, and you talk about the fact that you're from Kibera, everybody goes quiet and yeah, they listen. People, people will freak out because we had, we had a stigma and we had like a bad a bad stereotype of like if you're coming from Kibera, you're this kind of a person, you know, either you're a robber, you're just yeah. desperate for something, or you're a bad guy in general, which is still there even now, like, hey, what were Kibera, what <laughs> you know, and people just think these are just some naive guys who just are doing nothing, mm. so whenever there's something, they just go, to, no, they know what they're doing, they know their rights, and they, they do whatever, they're just more outspoken and right. more action, like normal people in Lovington will go on Twitter like, I don't like this thing. <laughs> but a Kibera person go will to go to the street. street like, bro, we don't like this thing. So there's different ways of, you know, showing how you feel. Yeah. If they love people, they'll go on the street and, and show, they we love, love you. you. Yeah. It's not like on WhatsApp, like, you know, I love you on the low low. No, <laughs> what's, the, what's the one thing you've had to drop that works very well in Kibera, but doesn't work on this, on the other side of the world? I haven't dropped anything. Haven't dropped anything. No. I always tell people you like you have to your, take me yeah, exactly as I am. The way you some, are. Yeah, when, when people don't know you or when they just watch you on TV and they always say, ah, this guy has attitudes, Nini. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you see, I can never argue like, oh, I don't have attitude. It's just, yeah. that's how you see me. So it's just you to deal with it. Can I challenge that? Yeah. What about English? Uh, that I speak English or I don't speak? Like you had to now speak a lot more English. That's Cause just because I'm I'm in a relationship with somebody who doesn't speak Swahili. Okay. And she's learning. She has to. She knows Shang now mm. a little bit. So when I say this, she knows what I mean. But it's not because it's like a good thing. Yeah. It's just like it's English. It's what it is. Yeah. It's you have language. to communicate. Yeah. And speaking of relationships, so that's I get a lot of questions on my YouTube channel about mm -hmm. interracial relationships and a lot of my followers wanted me to talk about interracial dating. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, let's do it with Octopizo. <laughs> Octopizo <laughs> understands these things because he's also dating uh, foreigners. So your girlfriend is fiance, actually. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, by the way. Ken, Ken. <laughs> wedding, really, by the way? To invite. Wedding, yeah. It's a dream, yeah. To know, you know, wedding is for life. Like, marriage is for life. So yeah. we, we want to, you want to enjoy the the fiancé ah, place as okay. much as you because it will never happen again exactly so and nowadays you are allowed you can even be fiancés for five years i see me my you know? uh, one year maximum for yeah, me yeah i know me i just want to as long as we can both wear rings you know it's fine it's it's committed yeah but then i always There's feel no like rush. when the word changes to marriage you feel like some responsibility has been added and it's nothing it's just the word has just changed it's yeah. just the same thing that's why like African style, come we stay works the best than it's any so marriage. So people true. don't people don't give come we stay enough credit, but mm -hmm. it's the best. I agree. If, I, I just find high five. I if, agree. If I was not in an interracial relationship, it could just be come we stay. <laughs> this money we're wasting in wedding. Let's <laughs> buy some puppies. <laughs> <laughs> As in, I agree completely. So let's talk about intercultural dating in Kenya because uh -huh. people have been asking so much about this. What has your experience been like? It's not easy, you know, like the stuff that from my side that is okay, it's not okay from the stuff. And also, yeah. they are, um, the parents from the other side might always have the fear of the unknowns. They don't know uh, when you're a rapper too. And oh my God, yeah. It's <laughs> even double tragedy. You're dating a rapper <laughs> no, no, gonna, from this kind Africa. Of hair <laughs> From Whoa. Kibera, the biggest slut. Oh my so god! So it's, 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 it's hard, but it's, I think it it always narrows down yeah. to you two, 
Yeah, and your understanding. And what you want and what your understanding. Because and for me, what has helped a lot is from traveling. Because then you realize you you see different cultures. Yeah. If you haven't, I think the best way to learn is through traveling. You just you know how to deal with situations. Yeah. You know, and 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 deal with people who come from, from different, different backgrounds. Yeah. Because we are like totally totally different <laughs> from like color to lifestyle to upbringing. So what's everything. the same? Is it your values? Yeah, our values are the same Good, and okay. what we care about uh, as a, we all think family is everything and for us, for me, that's uh, the best thing and uh, is, yeah, I, and we love music, right, she loves, course, she loves yeah. the same music, we, does she understand she reads, what your I don't, songs, I don't like reading, does she understand what your songs are about? Sam, have you taken a to Kibera? Yeah, <laughs> on a night date, <laughs> coffee, like, <laughs> will <laughs> Kibera Java date, you know? Oh yeah. my god. How did she, she find it? She loves it. She loves okay. like she's uh, that's another thing. She's not Anna out Maringo. There. Yeah, she's just a very low key lady and she likes the community for her I think for her birthday last year or I don't know what. Yeah. It was birthday or Valentine. She said she doesn't want anything. She wants to go to Kibera and do some stuff really? alone with uh, my sister. So I was like, yeah. And what about the reception? Because, I mean, you, you're in the public eye. Mm -hmm. And you, you've you got that, you know, street cred, thug mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Did you get any backlash? I get like? backlash all the time. <laughs> all the, why? why are you always going for white ladies? <laughs> eh, are they sponsors? Are why they are you going for white ladies? Is there I'm a just reason? like, because I'm not racist. <laughs> I'm not racist. True. And love is love. The, love is... Uh, like the heart is not black or white. True. It's, it's like red. It's red. <laughs> and all of us have like red blood cells. Let the red blood cells have fun. <laughs> but no, ma majority is because I had my first, my daughter, my first uh, girlfriend was Kenyan. Okay. Yeah, she's Kenyan. She's called Shiko. She's like Harley Berry of Kibera. She was so hot. <laughs> like we used to go at their house with machetes, you know, because you go there and you fight 10 men outside. They are sitting on God, Shiko. So your boys have to chase the other boys, then she comes out. You know, I can actually see that in my head. It was crazy, like for <laughs> real. This is not a story, you know. It's a true story. Yeah, we go and like, hey, we are here to see Shiko. You find three other guys. Yeah, we are here to see Shiko too. <laughs> and you're the one who won Shiko. So, yeah. So, but then I was Up too to... broke. <laughs> too broke, so I couldn't. But now you're I not broke. But she moved on. She you know? moved on. Yeah, we are we are friends. She, she was the one on. that got away. Yeah, she, she <laughs> basically. She, I was still hustling, but you know I'm happy for her. And yeah, all's good least, in the family. At least we had one one thing came out the best thing Aww. ever that changed me. So the, that's your daughter. My daughter. So. And what's the biggest difference one. do you think with dating a Kenyan lady and a and a foreigner? For me. Um, like one Kenyan lady, they come with, from especially now with my job. Yes, I exactly. feel like they don't come for who I am. They don't even know me. They don't even care about like finding to know who I am yeah. from past TV and, and music videos. And so it's always hard. So it's not genuine. It's like they're dating Octo, and Octo is just somebody I package. I don't even know him sometimes. I yeah. leave him outside the door every day okay. unless I'm on stage. And then with foreigners that they don't know who I am. So right. I introduce myself from scratch. So if she likes me, she likes me for who is seeing that moment. And we'll find out when. So the rap thing, she doesn't understand what I rap about. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good in the family. It's all good. Can like, I get some advice from you, right? Because mm -hmm. you've gone into, you know, uh, she's now your fiancé, so you proposed. And you mm -hmm. obviously had to take her to, to Shags. Mm -hmm. So now when I get to that point, because my parents are very open-minded, mm -hmm. but now... My grandparents, that's a different conversation. How did you explain to your family? Like, how do you have that conversation with like your, your Shosho and your, and your I, th I didn't. That you didn't? Be, to be honest, I didn't because <laughs> I just went home and said, guys, it's my wife. Because they don't know this fiance girlfriend thing. It's, yeah. We don't speak that language <laughs> in our culture. So, whoever you bring home, that's it's it. my wife. I'm building her home tomorrow. You guys can come support and help her and that's it and they're like singing and <laughs> teaching her dance moves and that was just, yeah that was, that was a wrap. and what about weddings should you have one in the country where you're each from or I you think fly so. people in or you For, if i was i'm not a big wedding person i want like a small thing family and and then we move on because weddings are stressful you'll have it in kenya or you go to the both States? i think because okay. she wants her friends to come here and she wants to do another one there so that those friends who can't come can have an. So I think when 
if that time gets and we do yeah. it the other side, we do it the American way. Okay, yeah, there the we go. The Muzungu so way, <laughs> and I'll just be there like a puppet with my suit. You know? <laughs> so but you when do we the do African it here, yeah, what's the plan? It's my way. <laughs> we have, we have, we'll have like two big bulls, <laughs> and I'm riding them, and I have like these feathers in my head. <laughs> We're gonna be like, I already had like a PowerPoint <laughs> of this, you know, how it's gonna be. And we have like crazy old men from like, I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> and they just say stuff. They can speak in tongues. Oh, and God. Speak. And this will be in Nairobi? No, no, no. Okay? Uh, probably CIA. Oh, you're going to go to Shag? No, not Dang. Nairobi. No. <laughs> Nairobi people will party crash. Yeah, that's true. No. But yeah, you don't, yeah. it's like you said, there's no preference. You just love There's no love. preference. Yeah. Like, whoever you fall in love, I fall in love with black ladies too. It just didn't work. <laughs> so that means it's not my match. True. We all have to match, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, and they are good people. But there's a there's a um, what do you call it? A misconception, or maybe it's true, that um, black guys who like white girls like very like softy kind of chicks. Because yeah. black women are known to be very feisty. So maybe that's no. I think that, my lady is so tough. Okay. Had, yeah, like even my ex was so tough. My, yeah. My my fiance is so tough for me. It's, it's so hard, you know. <laughs> like it's not. Uh, sometimes even dating a black lady is easy because you're from the same background yeah. and you understand and you know when she starts like this you just chill because you know what you know where what's up, yeah, you know but what's when happen. they come from the other side they might say some stuff you don't even understand like, <laughs> what, what does that mean from where you come yeah, from yeah exactly because here it just means let's have some mindy choma <laughs> but no no it's not the same it, it, it's the hardest thing people think it's easy it's not easy it's not that easy it's just fun for me it's really great because you you're creating something that was not there and you're also killing something that people yes, people are trying to you stigma. know stigma and this racism bullshit not every white person is racist <laughs> not every black person hates white people true yeah. and not even us that are dating white people we don't like every white people too. that one should come also <laughs> now should know me, i started getting a lot of that yeah actually oh so now you're gonna just start dating white guys i'm like excuse me Plus, you who is stopping? Who yeah, is stopping and anyone? why not? It's yeah. like, can you? It's, it's not like, like you go to Nakumat and you buy them. <laughs> if it exactly. was like that, everybody, I'm sure, will be dating white people now. Like, it's it's not easy also to date white people. True. But have you noticed with. that it's more difficult to be in an interracial relationship here in Africa compared to, like, I'm sure yeah. you guys have traveled together, mm -hmm. you know, to, yeah, to the West. Yeah, it is hard. It is hard. Yeah. It's really hard. I've noticed that they get ripped off a lot. Like, whenever I'm with my boyfriend and he mm -hmm. asks for the price for, like, let's say we're on like a pressure kwa tire, like, mm -hmm. at, at a petrol station, mm -hmm. the prices he gets, Adi, I'm like, as in honestly. I think my, really? my lady is too street <laughs> now, and I've told her, like, You've taught different her words when. She goes to places to buy stuff and somebody tries. You just say two Swahili words, two Shen words. <laughs> and they'll say, ah, oh, this one, she's, she's, not <laughs> she's not new. She's not new. She's not new. Well, so. Octo, I think um, I'd really love to know what's what's next with, you know, with your brand, whether it's your foundation, your music, mm. what's coming up, 2018? For me, I just take the day at it, as it comes. Right. But uh, for now, I'm just working to music, stuff that I want to do not. I'm not doing now more for like radio, like, hey, I want to be there. I'm not trying to prove myself anymore. I think I've reached a point. There's no reason to prove myself. I'm trying to win a Grammy. I was invited oh. for Grammys this year. You were. I sent my songs, they're not nominated because they're still listening to Kendrick, but Kendrick <laughs> should know I'm coming hard. You're coming hard. Hard. Could and you talk to us a little bit about YouTube? Because you, you do a lot of stuff. On, on on the platform mm -hmm. and for me as a youtuber i just wanted to know what your experience has been like as well for me it has been the best thing because i built my career on youtube most of the people have start listening and uh watching my freestyles on youtube that's how i i, I started like selling myself out there because radio refused to play me tv didn't radio. want to uh get any of my product because i don't know why maybe it was too strict then or they were just like who is this new guy like any new guy is mm. always you get a hard time so I built my career on in, in YouTube. I met Shafi from YouTube, and also just from building that Kibera vibe from yeah. YouTube. I, I I started meeting guys who are really from Kibera who are in the media, but they didn't say it. Okay. Like Shafi is from Kibera. No People don't way. know. DJ Pini is from Kibera. Uh, yeah. They didn't know, and they they, used, they started telling me this now later. Right. There's this lady who used to host also straight up. I don't know what she's called. Tero. No, or not before Tero. after, after Tero. Tero. Tamima, okay. Tamima is from Kibera, mm. you know, so there's many guys from Kibera who never spoke out, 
and I was telling them if they spoke out during that time, maybe there will be more octopiso now because we didn't right. have anybody we knew was successful who you'd look up to. So you, when you have a surrounding like that, you just grow up. You don't care like anything. Mm. We we will never. We will just be Kibera people. But that is through YouTube. It's, you show another side of Kibera that people didn't expect. People expected me to rap about, you know, alcohol, gangster and stuff. Yeah. Gangsters don't rap. <laughs> you know, you don't. So we just, I chose the other way. Swag, food, chapati, mandazi. There's right. a lot of food in Kibera. You can never finish. And for me, that... That's people, the side you want to People celebrate. haven't utilized that side. Most, the most hardworking women in the world, period, in yeah. the world, like I have to stress this, in the world are from Kibera. The most gangster people I know in the world, leave alone the guys who just shoot people. Those, <laughs> those are scared people. Because real people fight, they don't shoot, it's easy. <laughs> I'm Kibera. Those women is crazy. They work so hard, they, they, they need like, they need like their own Nobel Prize. Every, like if I had like, I was in a position, like yeah. a president, I'll just do some festival for Kibera women. Wow. Yeah, they're everything. Well, they, they put everybody in check. Yeah. They're men, the kids. Any kid that is good, that from is from the slums, is because of their mom, not their dad. Mm. I'm not saying the men are bad, because I'm also a Kibera man, but I'm <laughs> just saying, still weighed, yeah. are still calm under those women. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that, and that's great to hear. So they're so tough. Okay, well, yeah. Okto, it's been so great having you. Yeah. I've learned so much. All the way from intercultural dating to talking about Next time we're doing this in Kibera. Can we? Yeah. You take me? Yeah. Okay. We cook, it, no, seriously. We cook there and eat. It's and a plan. Yeah, it's a plan. <laughs> doing this in Kibera. Well, there you have it. You heard it from the man himself. He's going to take me to Kibera and we're going to do a vlog in Kibera. So you had better watch out for that. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next Banter With. Bye.